Okay, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. Uh, welcome to the SG, everyone. And we are so uh, excited today because we've got a special guest uh, all the way from Germany. Are you Martin? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, he's so far away, and we are now here. I'm I'm here currently in Malaysia. So we are going to listen to uh, among the the problems that uh, our members keep sharing with us are uh, uh, the trouble of doing you know reading for literature review. So I I was introduced to lateral a few weeks ago, and I was simply amazed you know with the ability to manage the reading. So I would like to invite Martin from lateral team uh, to come and share with us um, how is it that uh, we can now read you know so many papers at the same time so as you said faster and better literature review so go ahead martin i'm going to share your screen yeah perfect thank you very much anita and thank you for giving us the opportunity to talk to the community um so as you said i think everyone who's watching this stream um will uh it's safe to say that they have to look through a lot of papers you know it's tens to hundreds of papers um, in terms of writing their literature reviews, in terms of writing their dissertations and doing their research. And what we really saw was that the amount of time people have to spend, not just trying to find the information they need, but also even having to read through papers and realize they don't need it was really an incredible amount of time. Um, we've seen some people, you know, it's up to out of their year, almost a month of 24 seven reading. And so what we wanted to do was really to find the simplest possible way to save you time uh, when you have to do this work and, and read through papers. And so that's why, as we show here on our website, we help you complete um, hours of reading in minutes, essentially, to free up more time, You know, whether it's to have more time in the lab or to have more time with family or friends or other work, um, that's really our role. So what I'm gonna show you today is essentially a way where you can read through documents and find the critical information you need up to three to 10 times faster. That's the feedback we're getting from our community. Um, with very uh, limited effort, because the whole key for us is simplicity. We want to make it easy to get started and then benefit from the tool. Um, so to, to start off with, I just want to show you how easy it is to get started from our website. Essentially, to sign up, it's free. You basically just click sign up for free, and you'll be taken to our sign up page, and you enter your email, you get an email, and then you um, click that to confirm. And once you've confirmed that and put in your password, you'll be taken to uh, the app itself. So within seconds, you'll be in the app. And the app is then structured in such a way to make it as easy to adopt into your workflow as possible without a, you know, a long learning curve or anything like that. It's very straightforward. So the way that we've done that is essentially that we looked at how people were reading today. So a lot of the time, people will be opening PDFs one by one. They'll be copying, pasting over to different tables or different documents. And they need to keep track of all these different PDFs, even if they're using a reference manager or another tool, um, or if they're using a separate uh, spreadsheet, it still can be a lot of hassle just to, you know, where did I find that thing? Or where did I find this yeah. snippet of information? That and so, describes me, sorry. My yeah, <laughs> no problem. My workflow every day, because I'm just exactly. having hundreds of papers. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, exactly. And so that's why what we wanted to do was to put that part of the workflow in one place for two, two key benefit points. One is that it means that you can do it faster, but it also means that you can use things like machine learning to actually help suggest pieces of information based on what you're saving so that you can even help fill gaps more quickly uh, by having the machine assist you. So that's what I'll, I'll show you right now is, is how that typically looks. Um, so when you open the app, what you get is a our dashboard view and we structure it around projects. So you can create projects for all the different reviews that you need to do, and it's very straightforward. And when you open your project, now this one I've already uploaded some documents to, um, but essentially you can add documents as you wish to the project. And what happens is you also get a little guidance on how to use the app when you first use it, just to mention that. So it's very straightforward, but what then happens is that your documents appear as rows. And we call this the project table. And the reason why we have this project table is because it intuitively maps to what a lot of people do in Excel or in Word, where they're basically saving all the highlights um, from, uh, from different papers that they have. We put that in one place. And so to, what this means is that you can basically create different concepts that are central to what you're trying to find in the documents that you're looking for. And these can be very flexible as you go forward. So in this case, what I've used as an example here is carbon capture. One of the things we love at Lateral is supporting research that, you know, helping to improve the world. Carbon capture is a key thing for climate change. And so um, 
costs related to uh, carbon capture would then be a key theme that you might want to find information on in those documents. And what you can see is that this then appears as a column in the table. So in this way, you have a very natural and quick way to structure your findings without needing to do a lot of extra work. Now, coming to the really important point, which is how quickly you can then find the information across those documents. So a key theme to Lateral is that when you upload the documents, the system basically takes each page and analyzes it and takes all the paragraphs out. And so what this means is that if you search for a word that you know you're looking for, for example, costs, basically it finds every instance of costs across all those documents that you've uploaded, and it shows you them in the context of their paragraph. So you can very quickly get a sense of, is this the topic that I'm interested in? And this is then also where the first piece of machine learning comes in, because if you find a result that you find particularly interesting, it will then, when you select it, show you similar results to that. Um, it may not even contain the same word, but will be thematically related. So in this way, you can very quickly um, search for the words you know you're looking for and also be introduced to different words that you may not have considered. And so it really helps you intuitively close those and identify those gaps um, very quickly. And so when you find a result that you think is especially good, you can then save that to the concept. And what you would then see is that as you go back to the table view, you see them appear. And so in this way, very intuitively, you start mapping your findings from the documents to essentially this matrix of what your key themes are for your paper. And um, it makes it also very easy to both come back to whenever you need to pick up the project again, you can see quickly, where was I? What documents haven't I looked at yet? What documents have I looked at? What were the most important? And also makes it possible to actually share this, for example, with supervisors to give an ongoing view uh, to your research. So that, for example, I know that a lot of the feedback we get from our, our, our community is, you know, there are times where you might share, share a draft with your supervisor and they say, oh, you need to change all of this. And it's extremely stressful. Whereas here, you can share your research in progress. So you can course correct in a much more intuitive and simple way without needing to go back. And imagine going back to all those PDFs and having to then find yeah. all that information over again and so on. Yeah. And uh, sorry, sorry, Martin, just to interject, I, I believe that is among the feature that we are looking for because, you know, you would want to share uh, your project with your supervisor, right? And then supervisors can simply say, hey, you know, we, we need more, for example, or, you know, can give feedback to the students. Wow, that's, that's really interesting. Okay, go ahead. Exactly. And, and to mention that you can both, you have this share project feature here where you can uh, create a public access link, which then you can just share as a link and they, without needing to do anything, can click that link and see the table. Or you can invite them into the workspace if you want them to have more uh, ability to edit. So we give both of those options because we also know that, you know, supervisors, as I'm sure if there's lecturers or, or professors watching, uh, they may not have a lot of time to try out a new thing. So this is also a way to share something that's very easy to get started with. Perfect. And then the other piece to, to mention is that then these are all then also linked back to the documents themselves. So you can actually jump over to the document view um, just to mention that so that you don't need to um, only be able to find them at the text level, but you can actually also see them in the document themselves. So this means that in a sense, you're creating this mosaic of all of your findings that are linked through to all of the documents, making it very easy to, to find out oh, where was that mentioned. Um, and if you wanted to explore more deeply, you can do so using that uh, view as well. So um, for example, we have a few different ways that you can use the tool. One is that you use super search to first find the things you know you're looking for. The other one might be that you upload a document that you know is really good and has exactly the information. And you could actually start, for example, then saving uh, the key findings that you have from that document to your concepts and have that be a way to also then gather that information. So I think the key theme on that is flexibility. So it's really you know up to the individual, how do they best like to do their research? Do they wanna do this more of a broad search first or do they prefer to read through and gather their information that way? Um, and so that's, that's another key aspect here is that it's very flexible without being complicated <laughs> because that's the key thing for us as well. And so I think um, the other piece I just wanted to mention is that you can then of course have more than one uh, column at a time. Um, so, for example, the politics of carbon capture could be another topic. And so you can build up this table of different themes. And the other point to mention is that you can then actually export your table to an Excel file or to a Word file if you want to work with it in a different format uh, going forward. So in this way, we sit very neatly in this moment where you have tens to hundreds of PDFs. You need to throw them in and start reading. 
And then at the end, when you have your findings, you can export them to the format that you're most uh, familiar with. Um, and so, yeah, I think those were the, the key things that I'd want to highlight. Uh, we like to keep it short and simple. I know that people have a lot of time uh, or don't have a lot of time, but have a lot of things they need to do. So yeah. I think those were the main points that I wanted to highlight. Um, the other piece to mention is that we're building a community around this as well. So for example, we also highlight the research that's being done by people who are using lateral. Um, and going forward, we have a lot of exciting plans of how we want to help network people around the world who are right. researching on the same topics and yeah. expanding the capabilities from there. Yeah, wow. That, that sounds really what we want to do as well, uh, Martin, because uh, currently we have uh, about 96,000 members um, here in Malaysia. And this includes um, uh, researchers from Indonesia, Brunei as well. Yeah. So so I am thinking that once we get the community uh, going, right, so there are so many things that we can do together, right? Uh, just a quick question I have in my WhatsApp is, um, how many documents are we able to process? Is there a limited number? Or, you know, if we go for the premium one, so how many how many articles are we able to process? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the way that we've approached it, so to, to give a quick context, uh, because of the way the system works, it needs to analyze each page. So the center point for uh, how we measure that is this page quota, essentially. Right. Okay. Um, and so when you first sign up using our special link and upload a document, you'll get a thousand pages, essentially. Right. Um, now, how you can get additional pages is either you'll have your own special referral link. So from the dashboard here, you'll see there's a refer button. And if you refer others and they join and add a document, then you'll get at the moment an additional 500 pages. Um, and we also then have our subscription tiers that we recently introduced. And we have a special offer at the moment, which we call our founding pioneer offer for those who are the first supporters. And so here you can either choose to pay yearly or monthly. And for example, if you pay yearly, then you can get up to uh, the, the highest tier is 60,000 pages. So that's mm -hmm. that's a significant amount. Uh, yeah. If you consider that a lot of articles, I think the average is about 20 to 25 pages. Um, and then on the premium tier, it's 21,000 pages upfront annually. Or if you pay, choose to subscribe monthly, then you get basically accrue pages each month as, mm -hmm. you, as, you, um, as you're subscribed. So on the pro tier, you get 5,000 pages a month. And on the premium tier, you get 1,800 pages a month. And wow. Im importantly, we, we try our best to, um, like our mission is to make this as accessible as possible. So we're constantly striving to be able to, what we can do to improve the product and expand what it can support. Um, but this is where we are today. Um, yeah. And um, yeah. Okay, thank you. Wow, I think that's really generous, you know, considering uh, the powerful features of what Lateral can do, right? And in the chat box, I've actually put in the link for the sign up. So for all the SG members who would like to to, to sign up and try out uh, Lateral, you can go there and obviously we'll be putting more, more links later. Uh, and I am uh, also working with Martin to get short videos, short tutorials, you know, push uh, to, to the SG members uh, very soon. So thank you so much for your time, Martin. I feel that my life as a DBA student has become better now just by listening to you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hopefully that's, I think our, our big, you know, one of the big motivators for us is when we hear people who tell us that they were in this extreme moment of stress and by using <laughs> lateral, it made the research a joy because that's what oh. it really should be. So I think that's our, our goal. And, and on that note, the other thing I wanted to mention is that um, if you sign up with the link, we'll also be aiming to send you an additional uh, special offer for the DSG community. Also, as a thank right. you to you, Anita, for okay. inviting us. So Okay, no, yeah. no worries. So, wow. So, might as well we take that offer, right? So, please sign <laughs> up using the link and then you'll get additional offer later on when you want to go to premium. So, I believe that this has been one of the most uh, useful webinars that we have because what we aim to do is to introduce... Um, uh, softwares or tools or platform that can help uh, assist, you know, postgraduates with their workflow. So thank you so much, Martin, for your time today, tonight, actually. Yeah, yeah tonight. likewise. Thank you. And yeah. thank you for everyone. So we'll chat more and uh, don't forget to send me all the details, all the updates. Yeah. So that Will we do. can, you know, uh, keep uh, continuing this conversation. So thank you so much, Martin. Bye. Perfect. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Thank you.